We have been graphing in uh, other lessons and we have seen lines that go uphill, downhill, horizontal and vertical. So I just wanted to bring to your attention uh, the fact that we're going to find the actual slope. We've been seeing slopes in slope intercept form, but we've never actually had to calculate or figure out a slope from a line that is drawn for us. So as we look at uh, finding slope, there are only four choices. Either a line is going to go upward and have a positive slope, uh, or it's going to go downward and have a negative slope, or it's going to be like the Y line where we had a horizontal line and we'll talk about the slope of that one. Incidentally it's going to be zero slope and then we have the X line which calls it, which is a vertical line and the slope on a vertical line you'll find out is referred to as undetermined or undefined. Okay we'll use the word undefined. Now what I'm going to do first is I would like to plot each of these points Remember in our graphing that if you saw y equal mx, the m stand for the slope. Well, I have two uh, coordinates there that I want to plot. And then I'm going to draw a line and we're going to find out by walking from one coordinate to the other what the slope of that line is, if it's uphill or downhill, horizontal or vertical. All right. So let me erase this and we'll begin by plotting these two points. So I'm going to go over 4 and up 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, and up 1. There's my first point. Then I'm going to go to a negative 1 and up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Okay, now I'm going to draw a line. Now we're going to determine what the slope of that line is. You remember that we have rise over run. So I want to either start at this point and travel down until I get in line with the other point, or I want to start at this point and travel up and then turn. Either way, we know that this line is going downhill, so one of the numbers has to be negative. We want to do the north and south, north or south first, because the first number we do is always the one we put on top. If you do the left and right first, you'll put it on top, and your slope will be upside down and incorrect. All right, so on this one, I'm going to start here. I'll show you both ways. I'm going to start at this location, and I'm going to get in my car, and I'm going to travel down so many blocks, and I'm going to take a right turn. So I'm going down one, two, three, four. Downhill four, so that's a negative four on the rise. And then I'm going to the right, one, two, three, four, five. So the slope on this line is a negative four over five. It's going downhill, and one of my numbers is negative, but keep in mind, I could have done this, or I could have even done that, and I'll show you how it turns out to look like that. Now this time, just for you, I'm going to start on this one. Keep in mind, up and down first. I'm going to go up, one, two, three, four. I went up four. And from there, I went to the left, which is negative. One, two, three, four, five. So it doesn't matter if it's four over a negative five, a negative four over five, or a negative in the middle with a five. That negative in the middle says one of them is negative. Pick which one you want, OK? OK, let's try to graph the next one and find the slope. Okay, we're going to go to a negative 2, negative 3. Negative 2, negative 3. Now I'm going to go to a positive 2 and up 4. 1, 2, 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, there are my two points. So we're going to find out if it's going uphill or downhill. Let's take a look. As my paper goes across the page, I'm hitting the bottom first and I have to trace upward. So this is going to be an upward. That means either both of them are going to be positive or both rise and run are going to be negative. I'll just start right here with this point and I'm going to go up and to the right, positive and positive. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. It looks like I went up 
7 and to the right 4. The slope on this is 7 over 4. Now I'm going to start at the top point and travel down. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. That's a negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4. That's a negative 7 over a negative 4. You can write it either way. I usually change two negatives to a positive just because I like positive, but they mean the same thing. The slope on this, this one is 7 over 4. Okay. Okay, let's try that third one now. We're going to go to a negative 5 and up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, up 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay, then we're going to go to a positive 1, down 3. Positive 1, down 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to try to draw a fairly straight line. Okay, now, is that going uphill or downhill? Well, let's look and see. My paper hits at the top first. I'm traveling downhill, so one of the numbers has got to be a negative. Let's do our north or south first. I'll start here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Went down 7. That's a negative 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. The slope is a negative 7 over 6. But if you wish to use the other point, we can do that as well. We're going to go up 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Positive 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Positive 7, negative 6. Either way you write it, it's fine, or once again, you can write it even with the line, which means only one of them is negative. Some, a lot of times people confuse that when they see it, they think both are negative, but if they're both negative, they'd be positive, wouldn't they? Okay, let's try another. Let's do, let's look at that 5 comma 2, 6 comma 2. Okay, I'm going to go on the x over to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and up 2. And then I'm going to go over to a 6 and up 2. Well, when I draw my line, the, the line is going to be a horizontal line. I knew that before I started, and I want you to know it as well. How did I know that? Look right here. When I give you two coordinates and the y's are the same, it's going to create a horizontal line. And the slope of a horizontal line is zero. I want you to envision a road and wires traveling down the road on a horizontal line. Keep in mind that horizontal has an O in it, and that O stands for zero slope. Let me tell you what happens when you're traveling down a road that has a slope of zero. Because every decent road that we travel down should have some kind of slope. Let's say you have a big, bad, rainy day. It's been pouring down for hours. What's going to happen to that water if you have zero slope on the road? It's going to stand, and your car's going to hydroplane right off that road into a ditch. So when I think of why, I think of why sitting on a road, horizontal, O in horizontal stands for zero slope. Not good, not good, at least not for when we're driving. So this is a horizontal line because the Ys were the same, and the slope is zero. Okay, now if the y's are the same on my two coordinates, uh, on my ordered pairs, then what do you think the next one's going to be? If I have a negative 3, negative 2, and a negative 3, 6, this time my x's are the same, aren't they? So let's do this. I'll go over a negative 3, down 2. And then I'm going to go over a negative 3 and up 6. Well, look at that. When the x's of the ordered pair are the same, then you're going to have what? You're going to have a vertical line. And the slope on a vertical line is referred to as an undefined. Okay? On our next video, we're going to do the very same problems, but this time, instead of using the graph, we're going to use a formula, and the formula looks like this. y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. 
So we can graph either graphing on a grid, but sometimes the numbers get too high and we want to find out what the slope is. So we need a different way to get there. So on our next video, we're going to do the very same uh, coordinates again, but we're going to use this formula to find out the slope. Thank you.